All right, so this video is gonna show my new FCRI 7100 fire alarm control panel. I got it from a demolition sale yesterday and it works. I had to, um, it, well, I got it in an unknown condition, but it was really dirty, cleaned it up, and it also came with some keys. Here's a little tool to remove spectra alerts with, because that's what the alarms were on the system. I also got all the alarms um, and pulse stations. So here's one of the pulse stations. It came with six keys, two for the panel, and then there's four pulse station keys. They're the same thing though. Um, then here's another one that's laid in here because on these panels, you need to have a key in order to access the keypad. See if I don't have a key right here, push that, it shows that the keypad's locked. And if you put this in here, then if I want to do a lamp test, see, that works. Um, so I'll show the inside. I find it kind of interesting, it has a plastic door, it's not metal. Um, and here's just info, some other stuff. Um, here's where your wiring goes. One thing that's kind of useful on here is that you've got removable terminals. And then right here, there is a dialer port because this has a built-in dialer and you can connect that to your landline so it can call the fire department or wherever you want it to call if there's a fire. Down there is where your power connections go. I don't have it grounded right now, but ground goes in the middle and then hot and neutral on either side close this back up and I do not have any of the original devices other than this pulse station connected right now it is addressable here's a module um and then I have this Wheelock AS hooked up to it just I have it hooked up for horn the strobe is kind of broken on that unit so it won't go off but see if I um, if I, um, put it in drill here, let's just put it in drill. So, password for this is all fours, because it's defaulted still. Put this in, and you can see, drill option, you press one. So if we press one, and we push, press OK, I don't remember what code I have this set on, I think it's on code three, but here we go. I'll have it on March time, never mind. Then you go into here, push drill again. Off. And then drills off. So now let's say I want to change the code. Go into here, configuration. I want to go into global. See it says codes right there. And I have it set to 60 BPM March time, but for some reason it's only um, doing like 40, so let's just put it on, hmm. eh. I'll just do, um, hmm. yeah, I'll just do code 3, so then, okay, go back, it says storing configuration, you can hear some relays clicking. And then there we go, and I named the panel Natsuko is better because I prefer national time stuff over this, but, I mean, for dirt cheap, can't really go wrong with any panel. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, activate it. These poles, FCI MS6s, are really hard to activate without them being mounted on anything. So, um, I'm just gonna key operate it. Three, two, one. has a really long pause between each three pulses for some reason. So let's do signal silence. And you can see it says first alarm fire pull. I just named that module fire pull because why not? Um, so it's silence right now. 
Now, if we do this to reset it, you notice, you just tap it. It does not reset it. You have to hold this button down for a little while until it says resetting. And then, finally, once that goes away, your system is reset. So, that's, uh, that's that for that uh, this video. But, kind of longer than I was planning on have it being, but, I mean, whatever. So, yeah, that's my new FCI 7100 fire alarm panel.